Right, this is the membrane. This is coenzyme Q. And I've given the coenzyme Q's different symbols so that we can track which, one, which one's which. Right, this is fully reduced. It's got its electrons from NADH or FADH2 from complex 1 or complex 2. It diffuses through the membrane and comes to complex 3. It gives one of its electrons to this oxidised coenzyme Q that was already there. It gives another electron to cytochrome C, which is docked with complex 3, waiting to take a, an electron to complex 4. And its two protons get pumped out into the intermembrane space to create the gradient for making ATP. So that leaves us with this fully oxidised coenzyme Q, which can now go back into the membrane and go and get some more electrons from complex 1 or 2. We've got this coenzyme Q down here with just one electron. And we've got cytochrome C up here with an electron that it's now taking to complex 4. So now a new coenzyme Q comes in from complex 1 or 2. It delivers another electron to this coenzyme Q, so that, now that's got two. The other electron goes off to a new cytochrome C that's docked. So that can take that off to complex 4. And the protons again are pumped out into the intermembrane space. Now, this one takes two protons from the matrix to make itself fully reduced. So now that can go back into the Q pool in the, in the membrane. And this one's now fully oxidised. So that can either go back to collect more electrons or it can join the Q pool to come in to start the cycle again. And that cytochrome C is taken the electron off from here to complex four. And then the cycle can then start again.